more studios checking in and we're in the studio manifesting our own reality are you scared of the dark in order to truly ascend you have to realize that all light emanates from the darkness you cannot have any light without darkness it gets worse before it gets better and even even if you consider yourself a light being you have to realize that darkness is not evil darkness is just necessary darkness brings balance to this 3d realm darkness brings balance to this earth and if you were never thrown into darkness you would never know what light is we came from the darkness you were in your mother's womb where it was dark things happen in the darkness the light bulb was created in the dark we wouldn't use candles if there were no darkness but as that short intro carries on i want it to resonate with you i want it to sit with you because on this spiritual path there is a dark side and when i say dark i don't mean evil for the lack of a better word i'll say the less pleasant side than you would hope for on this spiritual path you'll lose friends people will call you crazy you would even probably doubt yourself along this spiritual path but it's part of the darkness that makes you brighter it's this darkness that illuminates you see if you were happy all the time if you're nothing but positive vibes and smiles 100 percent you would actually be killing yourself inside because what they say sunshine all the times create a desert and is a desert the most habitable place for you and i you need the rain you need the rainy days in order to grow you can't be full of sunshine all the time and that's why i maneuver in the dark i maneuver in the light too but i maneuver in the dark because i know that's where the true manifestation happens you have to go through these jungles you have to go through the dirt in order to sprout up and on this spiritual path I realize, I realize how people start to distance themselves from, you, from me or you also you start to distance yourself from others and you get this whole new light and energy around you and people are wondering what's up. They say you're acting Hollywood but the fact of the matter is you just came into a realization of yourself, what you were sent here to do and just the universal laws. It's time for you to apply it and when you apply it, you realize that your so-called friends are the first ones to turn on you. Your so-called friends are the first ones to disassociate themselves from you. Throughout any school of spirituality you came from, whether it be Christianity, Islamic, Judaism, through each body of work, through each study of practice, they speak similar words. The followers speak similar things. They just close themselves off from other possibilities and realities. It's safe to say that throughout every medium of spirituality, there's some sense of cause and effect. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Love thy neighbor. Even though it may be written in a different language, it may be written in a different tongue or dialect, the value of the voice, the value of the word still holds the truth. It transcends language and it transcends study. That's why I'm not part of any religion. I took a world religions class in high school because I was fascinated with the many religions and the many paths that people choose to follow along this journey we call life. And this is not to knock anybody that's in a religion. We all have a spiritual practice that works for us. But 
it's those with the eye it's those who see, it's those who see life objectively that gets the great end of the stick if you close your eyes off to certain voices certain lessons certain also other religions you could be missing key tools that you could benefit from so in the dark side of spirituality we get so laser focused on what we believe and what's morally right if you believe in right and wrong but that's another video the concept of right and wrong is just another form of perspective what's right in another man's eye is wrong in another another man's treasure is another man's trash that's why i don't judge those who are deeply into religion because that faith and that spirituality got them to where they're at whether it be foreign life or this is all subjective but that's the dark side of spirituality you tend to lose friends associates close ones because of belief because of a practice if you're a christian and you pick up a book about crystals and your grandmother your your friends see it they'll think you're going south to the devil they'll think you're losing it they would start praying for you even myself as a vegan we get a bad rap for vegans saying that you shouldn't be eating animals we get a bad rap for saying that but i don't judge people for eating flesh because we're all have a different spiritual path some people cannot do veganism even though i recommend everybody should should try it you cannot force or be mad at how people practice their life or project their beliefs the dark side of spirituality is that people get lost in the sauce of their own beliefs instead of living throughout the universal laws the law of cause and effect the law of polarity the law of gender these are universal laws no matter where you go it's applied i don't worry about the man-made laws about marriage and infidelity and all that shit. that's just physical tangible laws the real laws work with the universe take take your i don't know what what you're watching what what spiritual practice you're into but take that for an example and apply the universal laws to it there's some aspect of gender in your spiritual practice there's some aspect of cause and effect in your spiritual act you could say karma there's some aspect of polarity light dark black white yin yang all of these are seen throughout every aspect in nature spiritual practice book this is everywhere the dark side of spirituality is not is having to accept that people will not accept the truth universal laws or languages such as love people will not be able to accept and follow your light or darkness and a lot of people aren't ready for that they get all this knowledge reading books watching youtube videos and they expect their friends to tag along with them they don't expect them that you're only friends with that person by proximity and circumstance what if i told you that's not your true soul family you're just here because you're on this latitude and longitude of the earth and you happen to so-called catch a vibe with that person in that setting because we're all wearing social max they don't know the real the real you very few people show their true face in public so the dark side of spirituality is you get to see the true colors of yourself and others around you i don't know if that's dark but it could be eye-opening for some on this spiritual path
on this spiritual path, you'll get lonely. Let's take the Christianity religion, for example. Jesus only had 13 followers at first, right? But then he had 13 followers and then people started slowly coming along. And then it's not only until he died when he became loved, worshipped, cherished. Does that sound familiar with society today? Did you tell your loved ones you love them today? Why is it that when we wait, why is that when we're alive, people don't give us our flowers then, but we have to wait for a funeral to hear the kind words people have been bottling in for their whole life. The dark side of spirituality is realizing that a good 90% of people are sleeping and this could make you depressed. This can make you sad. And even if you try to help them, they don't have the ears to listen. They don't have the eyes to see. People choose to believe what they want to believe in and people choose what they want to listen to. So don't be discouraged when you tell people the truth and they get mad at you. The great Dane Dash said, you try to free a slave and they'll get mad at you. And that's the truth. See, but on this dark side, the dark side of spirituality, people are exactly where they need to be. You may be listening to this video and think, this is wild. But then another two years from now, you may call me a prophet. That's because you just had a realization. See, you know the same things I know. It's for you to tap into the knowledge. It's for you to tap into the source. Instead of looking for answers outside of yourself, the answers all lay within. On the dark side of spirituality, on this lonely path, you will lose everything you once known. Think of it as the matrix, the blue pill, the red pill. And if you're unfamiliar with the matrix, the blue pill is a pill people take if they want to continue living this reality, false reality, they take the pill, believe whatever they want to believe, and then they go back to sleep, wake up and believe whatever they believed last night and live throughout that lie, that false reality. You take the red pill and you find out the ultimate truth. And when Neo took the red pill, he was mad at Morpheus saying, no, no, this is not real. I don't believe you. I want out. Morpheus was like, there's no out. Once you know, you know, there's no turning back. This is the dark side of spirituality. Once you know, you know, you can't escape. You can't go back to that life, that ignorant life of bliss that you once had. You realize that you have a lot of work to do and this could be discouraging for some, but on the dark side of the spirituality, this is where you're growing the most. You grow the most during these dark times where you're crying at night. You're waiting for a breakthrough. You have no one to understand you but you're being put through the ultimate test. And once you pass it, you'll find your soul family. You'll feel more alive once than ever once you get through these dark roads of spirituality. You get lonely, you'll lose friends.
And you may even lose what you once known. Because what you once known is false truths. They're half truths. And only you will find what the ultimate truth is. Let that sink in. Click, click, click. Your time is ticking. You think you have time, but the time is now. People use this procrastination to get away from the dark. The way I see procrastination as a nightlight. Some people use nightlight for comfort. Others use it because they're scared of the dark. I see procrastination as the nightlight for those who are scared of the dark. So take the nightlight off. Get rid of procrastination. You know what you have to do. There's no perfect time. The perfect time is now. Actually, the perfect time was 10 years ago. The next best time is right now. So get in tune with the darkness to find the ultimate light. Dark Side of Spirituality Part 1. Click the link in the bio to get yourself out of the cage. The book is in the bio, The Cage Bird Still Flies. It's out now on Amazon. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys be well. Peace out.